Welcome back. We're getting ready to go to Portland. I'm taking my mom to go visit my little brother. He got a new apartment in downtown. I'm just putting on a little bit of eye serum. We're going to talk about the last video. Oh my gosh, you guys. I guess I didn't realize that a lot of you don't know like some of the best practices. I don't artist for almost 20 years. I have so much knowledge in this big four people were asking like what's wrong with my mouth well nothing's wrong with it. i mean there's a lot of things wrong with me mentally physically and emotionally out breakout Horm oh, i call it hormonal breakout oh, okay anyways we're getting ready it's gonna be like a light makeup day oh my god i feel a lot of us pick concealers that are lighter for um brightening there's two types there's uh incidental dark circles like you're not sleeping you're stressed uh nutritional tired okay and all blue and brown and brown is hereditary hereditary dark circles is part of your skin tone it's part of your um your ethnicity some ethnicity skin tones are more uh, their skin is more pigmented around their eyes is how to pick a concealer for both and you want to brighten how to pick a color for that and if you have dark circles and you want to brighten how to pick a color for that i want to talk to you guys about a lot of people are like what if your body is darker than your face our bodies are darker than our faces our faces get way more exfoliation way more cleaning way more skincare than our bodies do so our bodies will always tend to be a little bit lighter if you're matching to your face I and mean, your body's dark have you guys ever seen the celebrity pictures when they're in hollywood and they're like taking a picture and they're like and their body and their face are different i'm gonna insert a picture here okay well that is what i'm trying to save you from we called it the floating head the reason is, is because your head doesn't look like it's part of your body. Let's match our bodies. Like our heads are part of our bodies. Why are we separating them? They're to, meant to be together forever. Also, I'll be back with my brows down. If you want a brow tutorial, it's pinned to the top of my page. Check it out. Okay, so brows, well, kind of on. I'm going to clean them up while I talk to you guys about concealers and different formulas of concealers that work for different parts of the face, okay? So, as you guys could see, I'm using a liquid concealer on a flat brush to clean up under my brows. Liquid concealer, cream concealer, corrector, and paste. Okay? Different kinds of concealers for different concerns. So In my last video, a lot of people were like, why does your face look like you're already wearing makeup? Well, it's because I put on this bright light from makeup revolution as a primer all over and then i put a little bit of sticky primer brighter or gold, more golden avoiding the eye area because our eye area doesn't need another layer it has our eye cream and that is all thick cream uh, sealer like this one this is the og one from laura mercier it's the secret camouflage it, they have it in a stick form but i like this form better this to cover up any little pimples that we have brush like then you're going to work that dry creamy concealer tap it okay i have a pimple there i have a pimple there right there okay there darker color from that little palette or a darker concealer and we're going to feather out the edges of that concealer so it matches our skin pimples you can cover up with a lighter concealer but if you're covering up darkness like a sun damage or a dark spot or a dark scar you need something that's a little bit darker than your skin tone you can't cover up dark with light okay through it it'll look gray it'll just look bad now we're gonna foundation just like i did the last time let me grab my foundation i said it's a little bit darker and more yellow than I normally am in the summer, but it's still a neutral shade for me. And we're just gonna avoid rubbing where we put that concealer. 
we're only putting the foundation around where we didn't put the concealer. And I only used one pump. Concealing the face should be done in small, thin layers so your makeup doesn't look heavy. Again, I avoided the eye area. I'll be back. I'm going to go wet my sponge. Okay, now we're back. Okay, we're going to press that foundation kind of into the skin and into the areas where we have that concealer. See, I don't have anything on under the eyes. Grab my darker concealer, my cream concealer, and a little bit of this. And we're going to clean up the top of the brow with a darker concealer that matches closer to your foundation shade. Foundation. So now that we have that done, what? how do we cover up dark circles? The concealer. Here is the tip, okay? Okay, so we're going to use my tattoo right here because it's kind of bluish. This is a color corrector. This is called a uh, peach bisque. The correcting concealer from Bobbi Brown. And I'm going to lay it down on my tattoo like this. See? And it's going to cancel out the blue from your ta from my tattoo. So I'll do it on this have a little bit of darkness. So I'm just going to grab a little bit. It's all about thin layers. The more product you use, the more texture you're going to show, the more wrinkles you're going to show. It's okay to go in with thin, 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 thin layers. Okay. Color whatever's left I'm putting on my eyelid. Look at that. Darkness gone. Here we are. Just the corrector. Just the peach corrector. Brighten. Now that we've corrected, we could brighten. Now we can go in with a lighter concealer. Here I am going in with the Milani liquid concealer. We're just going to put a little bit. It's all about thin layers. And over here, I'm, let's say I don't have dark circles. We're just going to go in with the Milani. I, personally, I think... Ooh, that was a lot of concealer. Um, personally, I feel like when you do a warm concealer... I prefer to stay neutral or cool in my concealer. Cool if you have dark circles, because that means it has more pink or peach in it. Um, neutral will just have blue and pink in it. It's, neutral means you have two pigments that create a new, neutral. And there we are, we covered a dark circle. That's how you pick out your concealer. Also, if you wanna go lighter, I only suggest, editing Rosalie here, I only suggest going one to two shades lighter than your natural skin tone. If your skin tone is deeper, you're actually going to conceal with a shade that's one to two shades lighter than your skin tone and an orange corrector instead. And here is the makeup of the day. I said natural and then I was like, oh, I like these lashes. And then I was like a little wider a waterline. And then I was like, oh, I want. So anyways, it never turns out natural. I hope you guys like this. I hope you guys learned a little bit of how to pick your perfect concealer. Remember, if you have dark circles, go peach, corrector, unless you're a tan or dark, then you'll go orange corrector, and then you could do your lighter concealer once it sets. Do not set it with powder and then put liquid on top. That'll just create like a paste. You don't want that. Also, um, remember that for the face, try to pick a cream or a thicker base. Uh, to cover up pimples and under the eyes you want something more serum like more liquidy to create thin layers that will look more natural i hope you guys learned something and remember match to your body not to your face bye hey guys fabian and mommy here we're gonna do an ootd i'm wearing a letterman jacket some combat boots and some jeans fabian is wearing what are you wearing fabian nike nike trailblazer shirt and what shoes Vans. And we're going to put on some perfume so we can smell good. Mommy's going to wear light blue. And Fabian's going to wear... Read it. Eternity now. Okay, put it on. Put it on. Put it on. All right, guys. We're headed... Be careful. Be careful. There you go. There you go. Just too spun. There you go. You're going to smell so... So yummy. All right, we're headed to... Chewy's house. Look at the, look at the camera. We're headed to what? Portland. Portland. Bye.